Uh, we're just recording FX PhD uh, training and uh, we're touching on editing. So here's the thing, a colorist telling you about editing. So it's something I'm finding uh, pretty useful as I'm getting more and more doing some editing. If you're in the edit page here, you can now have in Resolve uh, stacked timelines. If you go to this little tab here, this guy, hit that and you can now uh, select a new timeline. So I'm looking at my Malibu 20. I can then go through and select my Malibu 45 and I can then easily click between the two. Now, if I want to see what the difference is between these two, I've got the Malibu 20 loaded. I then just select the 45 and then I right click and say compare with current timeline and it brings me out this cool little graphic here and you can see it can see very visually what shots have changed now this can be really good when a you want to see if there's big changes but also equally good when there's small changes you bring in a new timeline that's maybe got visual effect shots you want it to be the same and if you do this and it shows differences you're going to see where there's differences and why and there shouldn't be any. So it works both ways, yeah? I really like this, it's very visual. And lastly in here, what we can do, we can now show multiple timelines. So now I can select another timeline here. I've still got my uh, uh, 20 on the top and I've got my 45 at the bottom. And if I'm looking through it and I say, all right, I really like this shot that's only in the, in the, uh, in the 45 or the 20, I can drag between the two of them and I can just drag down and edit between the two cuts. So going between the two cuts is really cool for dragging extra shots and pulling from one to the other. So a few tips there. Uh, if you want to know more, check out FX PhD online training for Resolve 15. Thank you.